Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. About 7 months ago I released a video on a transforming cave design. Now all I did was a showcase for that video, I never did a tutorial on that design. So guess what, <laughs> here is a tutorial on a transforming cave. It's not quite the same as the one I showed you 7 months ago, I have tweaked it quite a bit to make it a bit better, but anyway, I hope you enjoy. So we go down to our cave here. So to anyone else, this is pretty much a normal cave, but if we place down some redstone here, as you can see, our whole cave transforms very quickly, and now we have a little entrance to another cave, or it could be a base, whatever you like. Of course, through here, I've just got cave carrying on, but of course you can make it to a house, a little secret room, whatever you fancy. But of course I've carried it onto a cave, so I've filled this room with things that I would want to be using for caving. So I've used an anvil, crafting table, cauldron, brewing stand, things like that. Very important blocks like this, our ores and stuff like that, and a little smelter here, which is always useful. When we're done, all we have to do is place down the, the uh, rest of the dust again, and as you can see, it transforms again really quickly back into our cave, with nothing showing, and we can walk off knowing that no one's ever going to find it. So that's the design, so now let's take a look at the rest of it. So this is the build with all the uh, stone taken away, and as you can see, it's huge. <laughs> it is a very, very large build, but I've tried to get it as simple as I can make it, so when I do the tutorial on it, we can do it nice and easily without many mistakes, because if you make a mistake in Bedrock Edition with this, it's a nightmare, because of course you have to place every single block by hand, there is no world edit or anything like that, so just to make sure you follow me on the tutorial well. So, Let's have a look at how it works when we're on the outside. So this is still the same. We flick down the uh, resin dust. And as you can see, the walls and the floors get pushed down like that. And we have our little entranceway again. Do it again. And that's basically how it works. It's, it's quite a simple design. Of course, you've probably seen some which are smaller using piston feed tapes, but they are a lot slower. I wanted to make this, the cave look really realistic and to be really fast. That's why I've chosen this type of design rather than a piston feed tape. Okay, now it is time to make this tutorial. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this truly ridiculous build, you're going to need 216 regular pistons. That is not a typo, you are really gonna need 216. 30 sticky pistons, 5 observers, 67 redstone repeaters, 55 redstone torches, 1 dropper, 1 hopper, 1 comparator, 1 rubbish block to go in your dropper hopper circuit, 311 redstone dust, 1 redstone block, 14 slabs, 447 blocks your redstone to go on, and then lots and lots and lots of decoration blocks. Okay, to start, have a 5x5 five five square like this with the corners missing, so 3 on the side, 3 on the bottom. And we want this to be six deep. So this will be actually your room. So three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we want this all around. So like this. Okay, so after you've done that, come over to this right hand side here and firstly place a line of blocks like this. Now these need to be completely different to any other block you're using because these are your seam blocks, you need to see where these are. So that's why I'm using iron. Obviously you don't have to use iron. <laughs> then have some more decoration blocks like this coming out three. And I would choose wood of some sort because it just makes it easier. Three out, again six along. Then some more seam blocks like that. Now I come out one, two, three, four, five. Remove the first four and have regular pistons coming in like that. So it should be four going into that iron block. One, two, three, four, and have them all along. Okay, so now we've done that, we can mirror it on the bottom here. So Seam blocks, three blocks of, of our decoration, some more seam blocks, 
and then come out five, one, two, three, four, five, move the first four, and have regular pistons coming in, so four, and then all along. Okay, like that. So after we've done that, come over to the top here and place three decoration blocks up like this. One, two, three. See, I'm using wood again, but I'm using a different color wood so I can differentiate again. Then another single block on top. Then come up five. One, two, three, four, five. Move the first four. Then regular pistons coming down. One, two, three, four. Into that seam block. Move that block. And then I want you to do this, but copy it six times over facing this way. Okay, like that. Now we want to do something similar here, but of course we're not going to place seam blocks here. We want to leave this completely clear. This line and this line at the moment has to be completely clear. So we have to place blocks here, then one up, six along. So no blocks here. Do not place blocks here, please don't. <laughs> you will break your build. Then come up three. Then a line of seam blocks. And then again, copy this. Sticky pistons facing downward into this block. So come up five. Whoops, one, two, three, four, five. Move the first four. Then regular pistons facing downward. One, two, three, four. And go all along. Okay, like that. Okay, now come again to this right hand side. And firstly, place a block here. And then one down, block here. Move these two blocks. And a repeater on two ticks going this way. Then place a block here, one down, remove that block, place a block here, and then remove that block. Repeat on two ticks here, repeat on two ticks here, then place a block here, 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 and here. Now we want to do this six times over. So the easiest way to do it is just go along like this, take these out six, and then make sure every repeater facing toward the middle is on two ticks. It's imperative that you get all of them on the same tick speed. So an easy way to check is just do what I did there. Go to the end, look down, and you will see if one of them is out of line. Then place some blocks like this. Place your blocks back like that. Here. And here. Now come up to the top. Place a line of blocks like this block here, line of blocks like this, block here, again line of blocks like this, block here and a line of blocks like this. Now on these all have redstone like this. If I say like this one more time, <laughs> I say that way too often. <laughs> all along and then redstone repeater here on two ticks, here on two ticks and here on two ticks. Okay so now to wire up these bottom pistons. First of all what I want you to do is remove these six blocks here. Make sure you've done that. Then place a block here, one down, move that block. Again, six blocks along. Then on top of these blocks, we want redstone torches like this. And that is why I remove these blocks here for now. Then place a block here, one down, move that block, block here, and then blocks like this going along. On each one of these blocks going into here, we want a repeater on one tick. Then dust all along these. Then a block here, block here, move that block, repeater, block, redstone torch here. And then as you can see, these torches are now off. We can now place blocks back like that. Okay, now after you've done that, come over again to this torch here. Place a block on top of it like that. Torch block, block here one up, block next to it, block here then one up, move that block, torch here should be on, block, torch here should be off, block, dust here, then place dust here, not on here, here and here. So now these are both wired up and they will fire exactly at the same time. My word, this is going to be a long video, <laughs> 10 minutes in already. <laughs> so now what I want you to do is come to the back over here. Then place a block here, then regular pistons going down like this, four, four next to it, like that, and then four and next to it again, 
like that. Then I want to grab some seam blocks, three across, 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 then three down of your wall blocks, three down, three down, then three of your seam blocks again, three of your stone blocks, then three of your seam blocks, like that. Okay, now come to the top. Place three blocks like this, joining these two sides. Redstone dust all along these, like this. Up. Block here. Whoops. Redstone dust, like that. Then place a block here. One up, block here, move that block. Repeater on four tick delay. And a slab here. Now what I want you to do is place a block here, one up, and then place blocks all up like this because it'll make it easier placing the slabs in a second. So then we want to place a block, just trying to think where I want it, here, <laughs> here, here and out, move that block, and here, that's it. It's hard to visualise, no I've done it wrong. <laughs> that's quite impressive. Um, have I done that? Yeah, like that, that's better. So basically you just want a uh, slab tower going up. That's better. So all the way up, like that. Yeah. Just make sure, it doesn't really matter how far out you go, just make sure that is connecting from this repeater, not this one, all the way up to here. Okay, now come over to this right hand side, and on the third piston down, so one, two, three, place a block, and then go blocks all around like this like that. Then blocks here, all round, so leave a space, and then again all round like that, leaving one space. Then on all of these blocks you just placed, place redstone dust. Okay, once more head over to the right hand side. Firstly you place a block here with redstone dust on it, and a torch here. Block here, one up, remove that block, block here. Then we can place some dust here, and the rest of the dust should turn on. Then a torch here. Then torch here, block here, one up, remove that block, dust should turn on. Torch here, torch here, block here, rest of the dust should turn on, torch here. Then come over to this right hand side here, place a line of blocks on the third piston down, and then a line of blocks here, and have redstone dust on all of those blocks. Okay, now come over to this left hand side. Firstly, I want you to place a block here, dust, block here, then a block here, block here, dust, it should turn on, redstone torch, torch here, block up like that, redstone dust, it should turn on, torch. Then a torch here. Now come under this block, place a block here. One, two, three. Move the first two and a line of blocks like that with redstone dust on them, like that. Then a block here, one down. Move that block. Dust here should be on. Torch, block here, dust, like that. So now you've actually done the blue and the orange section. So now it becomes a scary bit. <laughs> what I want you to do is to activate this system. What you need to do is not just flick a lever, what you want to do is place a block here, one down, remove that block, a repeater on four tick delay, then a block here, block here, one up, move these two. Now place an observer, so if you press this block here, that observer is going to fire into that repeater setting this whole thing off, so just make sure you maybe create a backup of this world before you do this, or something like that, because otherwise you might have to do this whole thing again. So, <laughs> right, you ready? So that should go over first, then that down. Perfect. Now, if that's happened, you've done well. And if it hasn't happened, I'm really sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to do it again. <laughs> now that you've got this, what I want you to do is come to the bottom here. Come down five. Five like that, move the first four. And have regular pistons facing upward, like that and then all along 
six wide. And I want you to do this to every single block which is down here. Then comes to the side here, place a block here, out, one, two, three, four, five. Remove the first four, like that, and then regular pistons coming in, so four again, and then six across, and then do the same on the top section here. Okay, like that. Okay, now that we've done that, just first I want you to remove this observer and this block. We can keep the uh, repeater there on four ticks for later because actually we need that there. Now come to the bottom here and firstly place a block here, one down, then six along, actually sorry, five along, three or five, block here, dust on all five like that. Then another one, block here, dust, another line, block, dust, then one more, and that's there. Now come around to this side, block here, one out, move that block, come all the way around like this, all the, whoops, all the way around here until here and place a block. Then dust all along these like so, and then again do the same on top. Another one. And last one. Now down the bottom once more, place a block here and one here. Repeater facing this way here and repeater facing this way here. Then a block up like this, I always use a different block, then two blocks here with resident dust on them like that. Then a block here and we want to make two torch towers on both sides. So if you don't know how to make a torch tower just watch me. Torch, block, torch, block, torch, block and it's this simple, torch on this side block, torch on this side, block, torch, block. There we are. Then the same on the other side. So block, torch, you get the idea. Now we want to do the left hand side. So it's pretty similar to what we did on the right, but obviously reverse. So first of all, place a block here, block here, whoops, Try not to uh, take out any of the regular pistons. If you do, just place them back. A uh, repeater on two ticks. Block here. Two ticks. Block here. Two ticks. Block here. Then do strips of six coming out like that. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And on every single block, have a repeater on two ticks going toward the center. Okay, like that. Then place blocks like this, all along, blocks like this, all along, and then eventually we'll have blocks here, but don't put them there yet because we're going to need to put torches and otherwise we'll get a bit messed around. Then come to the top, place a line of blocks like this, block here, line of blocks like this, block here, line of blocks like that, block there. Then dust all along here. like so, all along here, repeater on two ticks, repeater on two ticks, repeater on two ticks, like that. So first of all just come to the top here and firstly just place a block here. Okay, we don't want the redstone going to the left, we only want the redstone to go to the right. Then we can come underneath here, place a block here, repeater here, so this block should come off the second from the top line, so the third from the bottom, repeater, into a block here with a redstone torch, block here, repeater, then a line of blocks six long like this, and on each one of these blocks place some redstone dust. Three, four, five, six, then six more blocks, and coming toward, or well, coming away from the middle block, have repeaters on one tick, like that, into blocks, 
then torches on top, then blocks like that. Okay, now that you've done that, come over to this left hand side again, place a block here, block here, dust here, block here, one up, remove that block, rest and torch, block, block here, block here, one up, block here, block here like this, redstone dust all along these like that, then torch here, block here, torch on top, block, dust. So now these two are going to be completely in sync with each other, they will fire at the same time. Just something I forgot to do, firstly before we test it what I want you to do is come in here and just paste some blocks here along in front of these repeaters, so make sure every repeater has a block in front of them, like that. And now Again, back up the world, because <laughs> we're going to test it. So, place a block here, repeater on 4 tick delay, block here, and then when I place an observer facing toward that repeater, this will fire first, and then this one across. So like I said, make sure you back up the world, and let's give it a test. And there we are. Now we have our stone room again. Then if we just place down the observer on this side again, as you can see, now we have wood. Just place a block in front of this one. And it's working perfectly. Yay! And we'll leave it on the stone for now. And we'll just remove these observers, but keep the repeaters there. Next, what we want to do is place the pistons in place so we can have the cave looking a bit more realistic. So for the left side, we want a sticky piston here. And we want a sticky piston here. Then for the right, we want to come right to the back, block here, one out, and two sticky pistons facing inward like that. Then come into your little base like this, move these three blocks, place a block sorry, here, sticky piston facing this way, one here, and one here, and then we can place the blocks back like that. So they should be one away from the wall. Then for the top, what I want you to do is remove this block, this block, this block, this block, and this block. Then place two blocks, three blocks like that, sorry. Sorry, not there. One above. Move these two. Come underneath. Place blocks like this. One, two, three. Then we can remove the blocks on top. Then on these ones, I want you to place a block here and one here. So two blocks above. Sticky piston facing downward here and here. And we'll just place these blocks back like normal and we can remove these blocks, so like that. And then finally for the bottom, we want to just remove these blocks here, like this, three, then one, and have sticky pistons like this, in line with these pistons here, and then we can place these blocks back for now. Okay, now we can start to wire up the sticky pistons which we just laid down. So first of all, we need to wire up these. So firstly, place a block here, one out, block here, then two more, Repeater into this sticky piston on two ticks, dust like this, block here, one down, block up like that, block here, then block here, dust here, dust here, and a repeater on two ticks like that. Sorry, no repeater on one tick <laughs> like that. Okay, now that we've done that, come to this side and place blocks like this, one, two, three, four, one to the left here, dust all along like this, torch here, slab here, block here and dust on both of these like that, block here one up, and torch. Then we want to grab some more stone and just place another layer of blocks around like this, and these ones will not move. Okay, now to wire at the top, but first I realised that I've actually put these sticky pistons and these ones in the wrong place. So first of all, remove this block and this block. Come down here and place a sticky piston here and one here. And then we can remove this one and this one. Place the blocks back. Move this one. Remove this uh, block here. Sticky piston here. Block here. There we are, that's better. Then a slab here. Block here. Block here and one out, like that. Redstone dust like this, dust like that, block here, block here, dust, two dust here, torch here, then dust here, and here. Okay, now what I want you to do is come over to this side, 
place a block here, one up, blocks all like this, round, block here and block here, and then dust on all of these like so, all the way coming round. I can actually remove that most dust, you don't need it. Then we want to place a block here, one down, move that block, block here, block here, block here, one up, and here, and dust all along like that. Okay, so now to finish off this pink bit, <laughs> what I want you to do is place a block here, then place a block underneath like that with a torch on it, then a block here, torch facing this way, then a block facing here, and a torch this way. Then what I want you to do is place a block here, one down, dust on both. Now hopefully when we flick the lever, you can see all the blocks get pushed away, then we flick the lever again, and now we have our cave. But I forgot, just place the redstone down here, and there we are. Now as you come into the cave here, you can see a few blocks are the iron blocks, which are our, what's the word? What did I call them earlier? Seam blocks, that's it. <laughs> so what I want you to do is just remove them like that and place them, replace them with stone. And this one, and replace it with stone. Make sure you do replace it with a block though, otherwise you will break this build. Okay, next, what I want you to do is just first remove that lever. Block here, one out. Repeater on one tick. Block here. Block here, remove that one. Block here, block here, block here, and block here. Comparator running into that block, or comparator here. Dust here, dust here, and dust here. Block here, one up. Block here, remove that one. Repeater facing this way, and a block here with rest and dust on it. Then a block here. Okay, now that you've done that, come over here. Firstly, I want to place a block here. One out, one up. Move these two. A hopper going into that block, so crouch and place it down. Move that block. Dropper facing upward. Dropper facing this way and a comparator here. Then in this bottom dropper, place a rubbish block like that. Then if you want, just place some glass around like this, because sometimes the block gets shot out and it flies off in the distance. And it's just annoying when, you've <laughs> when you're building it in a cave, especially, you don't want that happening. Then place a block here. And just before we go carry on, just grab some of your blocks like this, like that. Then repeater here, block here, Torch here, sticky piston here, stone here, block here. Then we want to grab a sticky piston here and an observer here. And now that might look really confusing, but what basically that is is our redstone dust key into a T flip flop, then into the piston extender, which wires everything up. So if we grab some redstone, place it down here, you should see that happens and this will stay on, and then when we flick it again, it should stay on for, for a short period of time, and then it will go back to normal, like that. Okay, now just to finish off this grey section, or what you want to do is place a block here, one down, remove that block, redstone dust, sticky piston facing this way, and an observer facing upward, torch here, sticky piston facing downward off it, like that, an observer here, block here, one up, block here, and dust here. And now we can actually give it a first our proper test. So if we flick down the redstone, you can see the whole thing gets transformed and none of the uh, pistons get extended or retracted, which is good. So we have our nice clean walls. Place down the redstone again. Have a cave and there we are. Now all we've got to do now is do this door at the end. Whoops. And then we've got to decorate all of this. Okay, now we can start to work on the door at the back. So come around the back here, and firstly place a block here, sticky piston here, three at high, and then three next to it. Three placing this way here, like that. Then some blocks here, here, and here. Okay, then to make this door, what we want to do is firstly place a block here with redstone dust on it. Block here, torch here, torch here block here, three blocks like this and three blocks like this, dust on all of them like that, dust here, 
slab here, dust, dust, block and dust, block here, one up and another one, remove that block, stick your piston facing downward, redstone block, block here, dust, remove that block, then place a block up like this, one next to it, an observer here and here, remove these two and dust on both. Then if we want to test it, grab a lever, flick it off, and now we have a walkway, flick it on, and it should be closed. Okay, now to wire up this door. So, first you want to remove that lever, place a block here, then a block here, slab here, slab here, move that block, block here, slab here, and slab here, move that block, and redstone dust on all like that. Then a block here, one out, block here, then four across, one, two, three, four, block here, block here, then dust all along like that, then a block here, block here, sorry, block here, block here, block here, and block here, move that block, comparator running that way, comparator running this way, dust here, and dust here, torch here, and that should activate our door, which will open it. Now I'll come over to the right hand side here, and firstly I want you to place a block here, with a resident torch on it. A block here, here, and blocks like that, dust on all three. Then a block up like this, then blocks here, two, dust on both, block down and block down, and connect all with redstone. And that should turn that torch off, which should turn this pulse extender off, we should turn this torch on, which opens our door. <laughs> okay, so actually that is everything done. So all the redstone done. So at the moment, as you can see, our door is open. But if we flick, I say we flick the lever, no, if we place the redstone down, as you can see, the door closes. And then we have our cave. Flick the redstone down again. Now we have back to our little house. And as you can see, our door opens. So now all we have to do is decoration. So firstly, let's do the left hand side for the decoration. And you can copy me if you want, or you can do your own design, it's fine. So first of all, remove these three and have slabs all going up like that. Move this block and have a upside down staircase. Move this block here and we can have a, a sorry, a crafting table, an anvil here. Now, above that anvil, we want to remove that block and place a decoration block like that. Just make sure you do have a block there, just makes it look a little better. Then remove this block and have a crafting table. Then behind this anvil as well, we want another block. Again, make it look better. Then remove these three. Sorry, slabs all up like that. Then move these three, and again, slabs all up. Then we want to remove actually these blocks here for a second. We want to move this block and place a hopper facing toward here. Move this block and have a chest. Furnace here, hopper here, chest here, hopper going into that furnace, chest here, and upside down stairs here. And behind this, we want to place blocks so we can't see the outside and all the horrible redstones. So just want to place some blocks like this. And as you can see, that makes it look a lot better. Okay, now we want to do the flooring. So if you want to copy me again, you can. Just move this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Sorry, not that one. Uh, that one and that one, that's it. And then replace them with spruce. And underneath this chest, we don't want to leave it blank because obviously it's got a hole. Grab some oak wood and just place it there. And as you can see, that's improved it massively. And then what we can do actually is just place some wood here, like that. And now we can do the doorway. So remove these blocks here and these ones here and have quartz like this. Of course, you can mix and match these blocks no matter what you like. Then let's have slabs here and here and let's have a sea lantern here. And let's have whoops, slabs like that, and then just because we can't see, so we can't see out, let's put some slabs here, and let's have some slabs on the other side. 
Now let's do the ceiling, so let's remove these blocks for a second. And have slabs all along like this. And actually we might have, we might want to do four blocks like that. Then we want a sea lantern here, sea lantern here, remove these two, then slabs facing upward, like that. Okay, now lastly, we have to do the right hand side. So, firstly, actually, what I want you to do is remove these three and have slabs. Gives it a better entrance way. Remove these three and have slabs going down. Then remove these three. And remove this iron block and place spruce, cauldron, water in the cauldron, spruce wood stairs facing upward like this. Remove this block and again have spruce wood atop. Spruce wood here and a brewing stand here and then in our brewing stand we can have some water bottles like that. Remove these three and have slabs going all the way up to the top. Remove these three and slabs. There we are. Remove all of these and then have spruce wood back like that. Spruce wood here. Spruce wood here and an oak wood here to carry on with the, uh, the flooring. And in here, we want chests. Now these will separate as soon as this turns back into the cave. Just before we actually decorate the other side, so the cave, just realise, of course, these can't be full blocks because otherwise you can't open these chests. So remove these two. Whoops. Place the chest back. And what we want to do is place spruce wood stairs facing this way. If we can get in here like this. Like that, okay? And then you can see it will look like a proper block until you open it and then you can go through it. And of course, we want to remove this block above here and replace it with a spruce wood staircase. Spruce wood stair, sorry. Can I get in? <laughs> there we are. Just make sure you replace any blocks you punch out. Then we can place back the chest. Like that, and we can open it now. That's much better. Okay, so then we place down the redstone. Everything gets put back. And now we can decorate this. Now it is up to you how you decorate it, but the, sorry, the blocks I choose to use are stone, as you can see here, andenzite, granite, diorite, coal ore, and then sometimes iron ore. Don't do things like diamond, otherwise someone might come along and think, oh, diamond, and break your thing. <laughs> and then obviously, if you want to bring out the cave any further, just make sure you don't cut any of the redstone off. I've When I built this, I made sure that I built the redstone so it was quite wide, so you could actually have a cave entrance here without any problem. So as you can see, I've decorated it like this, but you can decorate it however you like. But now you have your own transforming cave. So as you can see, now we have... Our little base area, our doors working, everything's working, these chests are separated, and it's all great. <laughs> we flick the uh, rest of the dust down, and as you see, the cave transforms back into our cave, and everything's fine. And if you build this into survival, I just take my hat off to you. I mean, seriously, that would be dedication. So if you do that, please give us a comment and tell me how it went. If you broke it. <laughs> if you raged halfway through. <laughs> but anyway, uh... Oh, crumbs, thank you for being here with me. This it was it half an hour already? Crumbs. Just before we end the video, it's just time for this week's shout out. So last week, I said if you want a shout out, just write I want a shout out because and then write something completely random. And I had a few which were just mental. <laughs> Some were absolutely mad and I love them. <laughs> they were great. But before I just announce the winner, if you want a shout out next week, write I want a shout out because and then write your favourite movie quote. And that's it. And then I'll pick one at random, and then you can be shouted out for the next video. But anyway, who's going get to get it today? Well, the winner is Gaming with Guzmans, who says, I want a shout out because Bob the Builder is amazing. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> so, Gaming with Guzmans, this is your shout out. But can I just say, old Bob the Builder was amazing. 
because I, well, I was brought up in the time when that was on, and I loved it. But the new one, have you seen it? Ugh, terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have finally come to the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did like this video or like this design, please, please, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah.